This is the VLOOKUP and MATCH formula we used back in Excel Magic Trick 1758. And we did a two-way lookup. The thing is, if we try to build a formula that can spill the results, when I hit Enter, the formula doesn't work. It does not give us the correct results. But luckily, in the comments below 1758, Excel Lambda gave us this formula using MAP and Lambda. And this formula will give us the correct result. Now to see how this formula has given us the wrong answer, I have a little three column example here. And we want to go to select the top cell, Formulas. Evaluate formula. Now VLOOKUP is first going to look up these three values. So I click Evaluate or hit Enter. There's the three values. And then the match function, when I hit Enter to evaluate, it's looking up these three values and delivering the correct fourth, fifth, and third column. The problem is VLOOKUP is only going to access the very first value. So however many values we put into the first argument of VLOOKUP, it's just always going to be pulling from the fourth column. So if I click Evaluate, those three values are only coming from this fourth column. So to solve this problem, we'll use lambda to define this as a function value. And then we'll use the map function to run the lambda defined function across one, two, three different columns. All right, we'll start with map. And the map function is in beta testing. For the array argument, we can put one or more parallel ranges. And then the lambda argument is where we put our function. So I'm going to highlight this first column comma, control backspace, the second column, comma, control backspace, and the third one. So map is holding these three ranges. And whatever function we define here, map will take that function and run over each row. So now we use lambda. Lambda is in Microsoft 365 only. And we want to put in the three parameters, amount, source, and target. Now, these are the variables that the VLOOKUP and MATCH will use. I'm going to call this variable amount. And you can name it whatever you want, comma, source, comma, and target. Lambda and MAP are communicating with each other. Lambda knows that MAP has three arguments. And Lambda knows to use, use those now as a variable. VLOOKUP. This is the column we need in the first argument of VLOOKUP. So we type target. And we can see a new icon, that little x. That means that's a variable we're allowed to use, comma, the table. Very carefully, I'm going to highlight, including that first column there, comma. For column index, this is where we use x match. And now to get the column numbers, I need to look up this whole source column. I see it there, so I hit tab, comma. To look up array very carefully, I want one cell before the values that it's going to match. This is by default exact match, so I close parentheses. And then comma, we want false or 0 for exact match. When we end VLOOKUP, now we multiply times the full amount column. And that's our variable. There it is. Now when I close parentheses, this is closing on lambda. And then I close on map. And when I hit Enter, that is absolutely amazing. Now with all spilled arrays, none of the formulas below live in any of these cells, just the top cell, F2. Lambda took VLOOKUP with those variables, defined it as a new function value, and then said, hey, map, I need you to run me over these three columns. And when we hit Enter, we get our spilled two-way lookup formula. All right, it's awesome hanging out on our online Excel team. Thanks to Excel Lambda for this awesome formula. All right, we'll see you next video.